What is going on, guys? Today's topic of conversation is, would you pay to play to make your business problems go away? Okay. Very touchy subject here. Want to talk about it. See some of my friends and colleagues struggling with this mindset. And I can't point fingers because I've been there once before. So I want to I want to educate versus point fingers and say, oh, you're doing it all wrong. Or can't you just see this perspective? Or I'm right, you're wrong. You should do it this way. No, that's not what I'm doing here today. I want to share with you some stories and get you to just see maybe a different perspective of what you see right now, all right? Maybe this will help you, maybe it won't, okay? But let me share a quick story with you. I know a lot of folks out there that are building their businesses right now, especially during these times, and they're feeling stuck. Projects are plateauing. Projects aren't getting any progress, and and their business is sort of at a standstill. They're afraid to spend money. Um, they don't know what to do, right? Um, I'll give you a quick example. I have a friend in the real estate space, and he's got a project that's held up. Uh, a development project that's being held up for whatever reason, and um, he's getting billed, you know, once a month, and it's not cheap, right? But this prog- but, the, but this problem still exists, and and he's completely at a standstill and doesn't know what to do. Okay. He also has a buddy who has some connections in that town, and that buddy could potentially get him out of that stance still and get him producing so that he could start making money again. Right. But there's a cost to it and I'll get there in a second. So would you pay to play? What's it worth to you to make that problem go away? hundred thousand, 200,000, 5,000, 10,000, whatever. Okay. I've been stuck many, many times in my career building and growing my business, you know, especially the first time when I didn't know much about the online digital space. And I put money out there that I didn't know if I was going to get back. But I will tell you this, I believed in my heart of hearts that I was going to make that money back in spades. And I said, if I want to get to a half a million, is this worth 10 grand for this coaching for me to hammer at it. And thank God the answer was yes for me. Okay. But I ask this question a lot. I go in the next 12 to 24 months, what are your revenue goals? You know, you have to have some sort of, some sort of end goal there, right? Any smart business owner will know that you have to have something, whether or not you're going to achieve it. There's too many variables right now, but to at least have something to strive for is is necessary. So I'll get people that say 100,000, 200,000. Uh, I get a lot of folks uh, that are 500,000, uh, a million. Okay, fair enough. At least we have that as a benchmark, right? Maybe we'll maybe if our, our if our goal is a million and we hit 500,000, we were halfway there. Hey, not a bad year. Maybe we'll hit 750. Still not a bad year. Maybe we'll exceed the million. Awesome. We've done better than what we thought we were going to do. Well, how are you going to get there? Well, I don't know, Henry. I don't know. That's why I'm reaching out to you. That's where I'm stuck. I don't have a plan. I don't have a strategy. I've been trying a few things. It doesn't work. Now, imagine I can make all of that go away. And come up with the strategy, come up with a system, come up with a step-by-step game plan to get there. Say you want to make a hundred grand. Let's keep the numbers easy. Would you spend 36,000 to make a hundred grand? I would. I would. Let's take it back to my buddy on the real estate development side. He's got a friend that can make his problems go away for $3,500. And he's going to make hundreds of thousand dollars off of those units once they get built. Is it worth 3,500 bucks to make that problem go away, to go ahead and make hundreds of thousands of dollars? Might not be tomorrow, but is that worth it? 
In my opinion, yes. Why? Because I think long term. I don't think short term. Money I could always make back. Time I can't. For every day that goes by that I'm still stuck is money that I I, I can't get back. Uh, It's time that I cannot get back. That's a problem. That's a problem. So imagine, imagine for a second you have a potential solution that's obviously going to cost you something. It's going to be an investment. I should say it's going to be an investment, but it has the potential to open up a tremendous amount of revenue for you down the pike. Are you willing to make that investment? Paying 36000 to make 100000 down the pike. Make, sounds like a no-brainer when you put it that way, right? Another example, I have somebody that wants to make $50,000 a month in recurring revenue. Great. The investment for me to put together the strategy and funnel for you to make that happen is going to be a minimum of $25,000. So you invest twenty five dollars and you go on to make $50,000 a month. You have the potential of making a hundred grand in two months. It's going to cost you twenty five percent. Would you do it? I just want you guys to understand the pay to play model. Nothing in life is free. Nothing. You will either pay with money or you will pay with time. What is more valuable to you? In my opinion, time. Money I could always make back. Time is here today and gone. And I'll never be able to get that time back. I'll never be able to get that time back with my family, with my business, with my clients. Pay to play, my friends. It's just a concept that I want you to think about. I'm not telling you you're right. I'm not telling you you're wrong. I'm just telling you there's a bigger picture and a different perspective. I know a lot of successful people that pay to play and they're getting and they're crushing it because their time is more valuable than the money. They see the long game and they know that Putting out this investment up front is going to have tremendous gain on the back end. When you keep your eyes on the prize, when you believe and you have hope that this will happen, you will, it will happen. Okay. 2017, I was 40 grand in debt. 40 grand in debt. Had to pull myself back up. 2018, I make a million bucks and I hit the two comma club award. How? I believed, I paid to play, I saw where I was weak, I hired out those weaknesses, I got help, I went to work, and I made it happen. I didn't try to figure it all out on my own. I didn't have the time. I didn't even have the money. But I had credit. My dad always said, pay your bills, have credit. Your reputation of having good credit will will pay you back in spades, believe me. So what do I do? I put it down, I bet on myself and it worked. Why? Because I believed and I had hope. And I realized that time was more valuable than money at that point. I didn't have the time to figure it all out. Bam. Okay, so question for you. Would you pay to play to make your business problems go away? Would you put down that investment of 36,000 or 50,000 to make a hundred K, 150, 250, a hundred, uh, a million, 750? Would you? That's the question. So what are your thoughts on that? Drop it in the comments. Curious to see your take on this, okay? And if you're listening on Spotify or YouTube or or iTunes, 
Drop me a DM. Shoot me an email. I would love to get your feedback on this particular topic. Have an amazing day, guys. I got to run. Take care.